Good morning, it's our usual fortnightly shop. <laughs> it's hella hot. <laughs> it's like, this is like the heat wave um, week, this is for sure. Um, so sorry if you hear me going, <sighs> I'm fanning myself. But um, yeah, this is our biggest shop, first time in a while actually. Our balance is normally up to £120. I budget for a fortnight for the four of us, well family based on four slash five for guests um but next week it will be the first week in the six week holidays so there's some extra stuff to compensate for that let's get to it oh also some substitutes there were a few newbies in here and a couple substitutes that I had to go back and i'll probably explain it as i go but let's go to the meat section um i got a big pack of sausages i nearly brought the deal that Asda has. Asda has this deal where you get three lots of different meats for £10 but when I worked it out it was cheaper just to buy them individually so I got the Asda sausages. I will be using those now because I did order some sausage patties, um, some corn versions because I have a friend that's staying over and she wanted a um, What's they called? I don't know. I've never had them before. Like McDonald's muck something sandwich. And it's like got sausage and an egg or something. And I was going to do a version of that for her with cord. Sus um, sausage patties I've never had before. But they didn't have them. They replaced them with burgers. So I'm going to have to use the sausages in place of that. Not as healthy as I planned. Um, some salmon fillets. I had salmon the other day and it was really, really yummy. It sounds silly, I kind of forget how nice salmon is because for many years I hated it. So I got just a small bag of fillets. That would be just for me because the rest of them don't like it. Some pork chops. That would be for two meals at least. The two kilo chicken, um, whole chicken, for four pound, which is a great bargain. Um, I ordered the big pack of chicken breasts. They didn't have them, so they gave me two smaller ones which equate just over the same amount but it's easier because they're already packaged I can freeze them as it is substitute again was some um, breadsticks I ordered my youngest some breadsticks there was a deal for like two for one pound of the big packs didn't have them so they gave these mini ones to show it either way some oats new family favourite tomatoes my garlic and ginger bars some chips it's all over the place, honestly. It's like ram packed. Um, here, because of course it's a scorcher, today is going to be, I think, 26 degrees. Tomorrow is meant to be 30. So we had to get those ice lollies. I was going to get the dairy free ice cream, but I don't have time to faff. I just want to be like, girls, get an ice lolly out the freezer, help yourself, and get me one too. <laughs> this is something new. I've always known the Shanghai noodles to be the chunky chow mein. That's in like the chunky chow mein noodles, so I got them. And they're pretty thin compared to what I'm used to, but I wanted to try them nevertheless, you know, in place of the egg noodles that the girls normally have. Um, they were on offer again for a pound, perfect timing again, with next week the kids being off. Um, even though I won't be off as much, you know, they eat more, way more than they do at school, I feel. So yeah, three of those. Another newbie. My daughter has these, normally has these actually, but... Um, they were on offer actually these were so I bagged one of them but um, when I was looking up the size of them these are bigger than these and they're, and they're like cheaper as in like the standard price I think it's 125 and then these are like normally £2 but I always buy them on offer so I bought these for her she said she wanted the apple and I got the strawberry too even though I'm making my own cereal I like to do have a gap so they're not having honey oats all the time so it's normally my homemade cereal and then a store bought one and then this one was on offer for 150 instead of I think it's three quid and it's the big box. Uh, macaroni noodles. I was going to put you on the stand but honestly it's so hot I just want to get through it quickly. Macaroni because you know we can make macaroni and cheese now. Some quinoa. These are the extras. And um, there's a deal on. It's like two for two pound. Um, so we've got the Snacker Jacks and the McCoys. I'm a huge fan of the McCoys. I hardly ever have crisps because I don't do junk food that much. 
any junk food I do have, I just make it myself. But yeah, I just thought, hey, what not? And then, hey, yes, I tripped myself to some martini, some Asti, um, I love this stuff. I normally buy Lambrisco because it's really cheap. It's only like two, three quid. It's just a sweet wine, fizzy wine, and they don't have it online for some reason. So this is on offer for six pounds, so I bagged that. You know, cocktails with the hot weather. And there's two lots of these easy peelers somewhere. Um, Golden Delicious, Big Bag of Potatoes. There's two lots of this um, lettuce. I'm going to say lettuce and not salad. Prawn crackers to go with our takeaway night. There is actually a little extra that's here to go with our takeaway nights that I will talk. Oh, no, I'm not talking about It's right here. Silly me. This. Now, as you know, we make the... Um, I make sweet and sour chicken because that's just the thing we used to order all the time. And then I come across this when I was looking in, I always seem to look under the world foods because obviously I look for anything new, Caribbean if there's anything new there. And there was this curry Chinese paste and um, it's concentrated of course you just use a little dab and cook it down. A review said it tastes like the Chinese style takeaway curry which is what I like so I'm going to try and add that so we're going to have like sweet and sour and this so you know kind of like a buffet style. There's a deal on for these they were for a pound. Um, I normally buy the Dettol wipes, as everybody knows, but they were full price, and I didn't want to pay for them. And I looked at these, and there's 60 wipes in there, so and they're the mega size. So I'm gonna see what they can say. I know people complaining about the smell, but I just wasn't willing to pay full price for Dettol wipes. Um, I like to use these like to clean cabinets and stuff, so it's not dripping everywhere. You know what I mean? If I'm using the usual spray, bananas noodles cucumber there's a few things still in bags because honestly it would just topple over if i didn't i did I say milk milk almond milk was on offer i did buy um so almond milk from waitrose because they had them for a pound so i stocked on those this is what i was talking about the newbie i was meant to make it like i said my friend's over and she likes the muck something sandwich i'm probably gonna put it there i don't buy mcdonald's rarely so but i do buy it really um, so yeah, I was going to make a homemade version of them. Now we've got these and no sandwich patty, so I'm going to just, like I said, use the egg and sausage part. Hope that makes sense. Honey, because we're running out of it. Um, peach halves for, like, a dessert. That's the other half of the deal. Snacker jacks. Um, i got some apricots. See how they are? Because the girls love them in their cereal, so why not try them fresh? Hot, hot, hot. The camera's looking dark for some reason. But yeah, this is literally the yogurt bag. There's a dairy-free cheese, and then there's just the yogurts, the dairy-free yogurts. Those are for my young, for my oldest. She picked the lemon mousse, and then she's got the variety pack. And then my youngest has this. It continues, there's still more on the floor. The cathedrals are still on offer. I normally just buy that as the brand, but because it's on offer and I do like this, why not? Sandwich meat. Got honey roast turkey and ham. Coleslaw, the dairy free butter flora brand is a pound again, so I got that. I'm halfway through the big tub, so I got a small one. Got a uh, white cabbage, some carrots, some puff pastry, which I'm gonna put in the fridge now, or well, the freezer. Yeah, just put that in the freezer. Just say grapes, there's some grapes there. Corn sausages, they want offer for a pound. Our usual free range eggs. Two lots of them because like I said school holidays and we go through them pretty quickly. Some lemons. Crumpets because the girls ask for it which is fine with me. Easy breakfasts. 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 Um, and then yeah I got these. Um, random I know. But I love the Japanese and Chinese style and because obviously we do have takeaway at night. Even though I don't eat the noodles I've always wanted to learn how to use chopsticks so I randomly brought these. I'm random that way. And um, yes, this is on offer for £2. Um, I already have one that I use, but I use them predominantly for meat because, of course, the glass is non porous. So, you know, you can clean it and there's nothing stuck on there. So, I had to buy another one because it was on offer. So, mushrooms. And then finally, this is the last bits that are on the floor. The offer was still on for a pound for these. Like some, they taste like cow's milk so that's what I've been using predominantly for her cereals the Ribena was back on offer for £2 so I bagged those, this was on offer two for £2 I normally only get them when they're on offer for £1 so hey 
They did some garlic and onion granules, some beans, some yeast. The girls wanted some spaghetti hoops. There was a substitute for some reason. And they've got one with sausages. I'm sure they won't mind. We needed some bread flour, sour raisin flour. I always say in my videos now that, that, that if you don't see bleach, bleach has been purchased. But this time it's in the bag. There's the bleach, washing up liquid Brillo pads. And then we just needed some other household bits which are two lots of the hand wash and the baby bath for the kiddos. So yeah, like I said, I'm sure it was like the 121 mark, but because I had substitutes sent back, uh, the sausage patties were like £2 a piece, and those two of those, that's £4. Uh, some bread rolls, that's another. So about five, six pounds is gone back in substitutes anyway, so the balance would be about £115. But yes, definitely stocked up. Sorry about the lighting, I don't know why. It looks so dark, but um, yeah, that's it. I hope it wasn't too bad and I didn't blabber too much. Hope you're all having a good day, and I will see you in another one. Bye!